what's going on here? Rob here, Trev2323. Uh, today, I'm going to be polishing my front rim. See how bad that looks? All in there. Okay, I'm going to be polishing it, so hopefully it could look like this. What happens with these old aluminum rims, this is an O2. So the, the clear, the, the clear polish, the clear paint, the clear whatever they put on them starts to come up. And when that comes up, that goes ahead and uh, flakes really bad. It looks really bad on the rims and it harbors a lot of dirt. So what I'm going to be using today is actually Eastwood and Harbor Freight stuff. Pre, I use pre to cut the grease to get the grease. Whenever you're working anything, if you're going to pull off polished sand, you got to get the grease out of there. Otherwise, you're going to get fish eyes, okay? Now this right here... The fiber disc i bought the fine ones because all i'm doing is i'm not scra airplane stripping i'm just painting uh, i'm scraping the gloss off is all i'm doing okay so i bought four of those these are 3.99 from harbor freight all right polishing compound for aluminum this is aluminum polishing compound so I'm, what i'm going to do is put the discs first on the little dremel to scrape all the way around and the reason why i got it lifted is so i could turn it and get all the way around okay and after i scrape it with the disc i'm going to go ahead and put the polishing one on and polish it now a lot of people you see switch from battery to uh battery to electric ones the electric ones will work really good i'm just trying to do this to see what happens right now i got the air compressor angle die grinder and all that but actually i stepped on my hose and broke my hose this one back here took me about 40 minutes I did that one by hand with sandpaper by hand and I had an electric polisher to do that one. So this one right here, I'm going to do it with my drill, but I may be cheating because I do got two batteries for my drill. All right. I forgot my camera stand though, so let me go get that. Okay. I don't know if you can see me, but this is what you got to see anyways. Oh, I'm cramping already. Okay. You got to wash it off really good. And what this is, is this is pre from Eastwood. It's a degreaser. I'm going to stess it under a bit and I'm just going to wipe it down right here. After I degrease it, this is from my angle die grinder. All right. I'm actually going to put it on my drill right here. I'm not interested in getting the gray. I want the gray to stay on there. Right now I'm focusing on this outer lip. Right here is what I'm focusing on. It was hard to get in here. I actually did this by hand with sandpaper because I didn't want to have to take off the wheel stem and the tire last time. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this down really good with the pre. See, it's coming out really good anyways. But then you get all this chipped uh, chipped uh, uh, gloss. So that's what I'm going to be sanding off, the chipped gloss right there. So I'm going to get this cleaned up with the pre and I'll be right back with you. Okay, if you see this here now, let me try to get you up closer. This is all peeled. That's all peeled uh, gloss sticks in there see it's all peeled gloss actually it's really bad up here also so what i'm gonna do is actually use the drill to get this peeled gloss off i'm not gonna clean the whole shine and everything i'm just gonna get all this peeled gloss off eventually i'll go ahead and take the tire off and do it but i just want to do it i'm gonna do it with the drill right now now with these right here this is from my angle die grinder so i just bought all the tips for it now these are the fine discs right here you just screw them onto the angle die grinder right here and go the other way and make sure this is on all right really i'll be honest with everybody what i'm finding out already with this is I can't really get the angle that I want on the rim. Okay, now I've been here for about five minutes, maybe even ten, and I went around it with uh, the drill and the angle grinder tip with a fine grit, and there's still a lot of stuff on here. Believe it or not, it was easier for me to just use by hand again on this. I don't, I don't really want to go balls to the wall because you don't want to miss it and hit your tire. So this is the 80 grit. And I'm going to use 80 grit like before to go all the way around it. And then I'm just going to use the, uh, I'm going to try to drill and the buff tip. Oh man, it moved. I'm going to try to, see, the 80 grit is coming out way better. 
way faster. Look at that. It's cutting way better, way faster. I got more control over it. And then I'm going to try with the drill and buffer. And if not, I'm going to get the electric buffer back out. But okay, believe it or not, that was about 20 minutes of sanding with 80 grit. And I don't know what sandpaper I used last time, but the sandpaper I used last time was 200 grit and it actually worked better than this 80 grit that I got. So I don't know where I got the different ones from. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward through this Harbor Freight aluminum polish because that was crap. Do not buy it, do not use it. It stained the rims and I couldn't get it off. I had to use rubbing compound to buff that off. Well, that polishing compound from Harbor Freight really sucked. So what I'm going to do is try some turtle wax rubbing compound to get that old... This is the polish right here. Man, that stuff is hard as hell. So this is some old rubbing compound that I got to see if I can work up. And then if not, I'm going to sand it back down with the sandpaper and repolish it with the Meguiar's. Because the first I did it the first time with the Meguiar's and the Meguiar's car wax. And it was beautiful, amazing. Okay, when it's turning black, you know it's actually working. Okay, it's coming along. I cleaned it off. Actually, parts of it look really, really, really good now with the rubbing, rubbing compound I used on it. I would actually go for some paste rubbing compound over that Harbor Freight freaking crap that uh, Harbor Crate Aluminum Polish. Now this, I preed it off again, cleaned it off. Now this is the uh, mothers that I used last time. Bring you in so you can see. When it starts getting black, that ain't a problem. That's actually showing that everything working really good. When it starts to get black. Oh, you see the rim? Now imagine if you actually take the tire off and you uh, you do the whole thing. Man, some of that's actually looks shining like chrome. Amazing different. I'm gonna finish buffing it up uh, really good. But that's what I did. The, the, the wheel I used was a Harbor Freight one. I got a big buffer, a really big buffer for cars. That works the best. I did my back one on a, with a buffer for the van. Big buffer. And I just used, after I sanded it, I just used that and Meguiar's car wax. Beautiful. This time I tried to go in the fancy schmancy way and getting the aluminum polish from Harbor Freight. Terrible. And then I, I, I could actually buff some more, but that would have been three cordless batteries I use, and you're going to burn out a little motor for the thing. So would I recommend buffing it by uh, with a drill? No way in heck. Pick yourself up a $20 buffer, buff with, with your $20 buffer. It makes it look so much detail, so much better with the car. All the wax that I spilled around, I'm going to clean it off with some Armor All, with the Armor All wipes so it don't get on the rim. But after it's polished really good with some Meguiar's, the dirt and everything will beat on and wipe right off. I already wiped the back ones down a couple times and they look like brand new again. It's it's so worth doing it. You've seen it. I sanded it by hand. I buffed it with two batteries and the drill. Do not use the Harbor Freight aluminum polish. I used turtle wax rubbing compound to get that other crap off. And then if I would have just went from sand to Meguiar's polish, it would have worked so much better. Either way, I'm Jack of all trades, master of none. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.